Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we'll be playing a new Minecraft series. Now, um, you may be wondering why I'm doing this, I'll explain that later on in the video, but, oh uh, yes, this is basically the start of a new series, so let's just get on with it. I have done a test world because I was messing around with this thing, but we're just going to create a new one, because I found a new world option, which I did not even know existed. So let's just call, uh, let's just call this, uh, Crazy World. Because it can get pretty crazy with this setting on. So I'm going to keep survival and normal. Um, this is what I'm looking for. The world type. Now it's called amplified. It says you requires a beefy computer. Which mine isn't completely a beefy computer. But it's pretty good. Um, so it can actually run it. That's, what's, that's what the um, test world was for. So I guess with that on. We're not going to have mods or anything. This is just going to be to see. If I can actually beat the game this time, because I haven't beaten the game in a long time. Um, and the last series was basically just a lot of building and not actually getting very far with the actual game. So this is just to see if I can beat the game on like amplified settings, it says. So let's just create a world. Don't really know why I'm on the side of a mountain. But, okay. So basically, what this will do is, it's called amplified, and it will basically increase the amount of generation, like the world generation by like a crazy amount so you'll find some crazy large structures and everything like that it may or may not be easier to find different types of ores because obviously with the bigger world um, it might be easier to find exposed ore like that um, we should probably not be where all the zombies are uh, we should probably try and get away now this can Cause some quite a bit of lag. It's not really helping that I'm using some sh um, crazy shaders as well. But I think I'll see how this goes and see if I need to turn the shaders down or not. There's always a patch. So you'll find it here. But there's always a patch over this area that will be buggy. And I have no idea why. It won't be the same on this side, just that side. And it was the same on the other world. And I don't know how. I don't think it's really helping that I'm recording as well. Um, but. We're just going to need to get some trees, really. This isn't a speed run, because I couldn't even imagine myself doing a speed run. I'd be absolutely terrible at that. Um, you may be wondering why on one of my polls, I was talking about better Minecraft. I tried that, but my computer was having a nightmare of a time with over 200 mods. So I decided to do this instead. It may be not as exciting as you thought, but the old series was getting kind of boring. Uh, I do like my builds there. But I had a problem with it. My hard drive completely just messed up. So I lost all my worlds and everything on that. So that kind of sucked. Um, I do have an old save of my world. I mean, not that old. It wasn't too bad. But I do have an old save on USB. So it's not completely lost. Just all the new stuff, like the jungle and everything that I did, that was lost. So that's a bit of a shame. But I was going to end that series at some point anyway. So I guess there's a great um, place to end it. Now, this is some crazy generation we've got here, but everything's just spruce biome. Um, oh, we've actually got a nether portal over there, or what was left of it. We should probably try and head there afterwards, but I'm just going to get a few more trees and see if I can make some basic tools. So an extra thing with this world will be that I won't have a place to stay, so I won't be making like a big village or anything like I usually do. Which is a bit strange for me, because I usually really like to build these villages, but I'm just going to play Minecraft the way it's sort of intended to, because I haven't played like that in a very, very long time. I was hoping to get that coal, but it might be a bit difficult at the minute. Um, but we're just going to see how far I can get within these episodes. There probably won't be as many, because I think my other series had like 50. There definitely won't be as many this time. Um, but I hope that's alright with you guys. But I just thought in the meantime, like, there's no point in me just playing a normal, um, boring Minecraft world. So I wanted to check out this amplified version, and it seems pretty cool. Um, most of it will be mostly a little bit more difficult. Ooh, there's actually some iron down there. Well, it's a good start, I, I will say that. Um, so yeah, you might find more ore... But finding cows and food will be a lot more difficult because they just simply won't spawn here. Um, I can hear a skeleton. But I'm, I'm going to make myself a stone pickaxe for now. Uh, maybe an axe as well. Oh, I need to make some more sticks. That's a shame. So I'll make some more sticks and make an axe. So I can use the axe as my main sort of weapon. Um, 
so that'll be useful. Don't really need the wooden one anymore. Uh, chop that now. I might even have enough to start off with an iron pickaxe on my first um, episode. So I do have to watch out for these guys. I cannot take too much damage because I haven't got any food. Villagers are a lot more difficult to find because there's a lot less areas for them to spawn. Oh, perfect amount for a pickaxe there. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, there's basically a lot less uh, space for them to spawn. So if you do find one, there'll often be like one at the top of there and one down here uh, in houses wise. So I'm kind of stuck down here now. So yeah, I just got to make sure I can find some form of food. So how high am I at the minute? I am 120 blocks basically, which is double the normal sea level. Damn it. Um, so I just got to hope that I find the water soon. Because if I find some sea, then at least I'll have a higher chance of getting, like, at least some bit of land that a village might spawn on. Uh, but for now, we seem to be doing pretty good. We've got raw iron, enough to make a pickaxe now, which I was not expecting for the first episode, which is great. So we're just going to be constantly exploring, I wanted this to be. I didn't want it to be, like, me staying in the same place all the time. Because I think, you know, that kind of gets a bit dry. But I'm going to see sort of how quickly I can actually beat the game and how well because I had so many diamonds in my last series but I literally just did not ever spend them on anything which is kind of a shame because I kind of wanted to to actually beat the game but this will be an extra challenge because I'll start off with not much so let's just see what we've got here if there is actually anything here yes there is what kind of messed up nether portal is this is there seriously no chest what? Since when has there not been a chest spawning here? That is a bit strange. I've never not had a chest when I go to these places. That's a bit of a shame. Some messed up portal. I don't know how much is left of it because that could be really useful later on. I have to remember this place. Um, but I probably will forget. But luckily I'm recording so I'll try and remember. Oh, we've got actually a pretty good one here. Is there a block? Yes. Okay. This is brilliant nether portal. So, if we get a block to go there, and a block to replace that one, we'll be at the nether straight away. So, and there's some gold there. I would bring it with me, but I think, as long as I remember where this is, then it should be fine. Let me just open that quickly, so I can remember where these coordinates are for some later episodes. There's more iron up there. This is could not have asked for a better start, really. I think, I'm not going to head this way, because this is the laggy zone of the world. So if I go this way, it should hopefully give a lot better frames and make it a lot nicer for you to watch. I don't know why it does that. I have no idea. It's just that certain area, but I could not find out why. It's a bit of a shame. Um, but it's fine. We'll just explore this way. Um, so let's just get some of this iron. We might have enough for, like, a few tools here, actually. So we can make a pickaxe. Uh, so far we can make about two swords, so we should be able to get a, basically the same that I've got now, but maybe a little bit better. Maybe a sword or something like that. Um, this is not my worry at the minute though. I could always get ore later on. The main problem is getting food and a place to sleep, because I need sheep desperately. Because without sheep, I'm never going to get anything. Look at this amazing glacier biome. Um, anyway, so we should probably explore this sort of direction. I don't want to stray too far from this nether portal because it's kind of amazing. But I think I'm going to have to. Let's see if we can make this jump. Right. Yep, that was easy. Okay, this is kind of tripping me out, this water. Right, now I'm at sea level now, but I would not expect to find any sort of villagers around here. Uh, ooh, we could get away from the snow biome and sort of head towards this bit of land. That could be a bit more promising for better land areas. That is a cool bit of like ice. They're like growing on the sides. Sorry, my phone's going off. Growing on the sides of the cliffs. And there's more iron there. So iron is not a thing that I'm going to find is going to be a problem here. It's probably going to be like other things that are going to cause it to be a bigger problem. Okay, so there is some sort of form of life in this area. But it is a horse and I kind of need some sheep. But at least I know that some animals will spawn here. Um, this could kind of be an issue. I might have to uh, bunker down somewhere for the night. Because I don't think I'll find um, any sheep. It'll probably just be more like finding mobs. Is there like a little... Oh, there's like a hidden area back here. 
Oh, it's kind of actually kind of a big cave. Right, I'm going to settle down here for the night, though. I might have to camp this one out without um, sleeping, because unfortunately, there is no sheep. Okay, well, we've got our iron cooking and some torches. So we'll probably be alright for tonight, as long as there's no mobs sort of hanging around here. But it seems like a pretty closed cave, so there shouldn't be anything. I might have a quick look for any um, iron or anything. Nope, absolutely nothing here. Oh, I actually can't get back. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're going to have to just wait this one out, and I'll catch... Uh... Oh, no, there is iron here. Hang on. So I was about to say I'd meet you in the morning, but there is actually iron hiding here. I might not have enough coal to smelt it all, but there we go. Two extra iron. I can pretty make much make some pretty good iron tools at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the morning and when all my iron has finished smelting. Okay, here we go. So it's morning now. I made myself a shield. A uh, slight voice crack. <laughs> uh, an iron pickaxe and an iron axe. Right, hopefully the spider won't try and kill me. Whoa, what enderman nearly threw into my eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and hunt for some food because I've not got enough. Ah, oh, there's a nice little bee. Um... Oh, there's no way. I was actually just talking about how it's like impossible to find a village, and now I just found a village. Because I was searching all throughout the other world, my test world, and I did not find anything anywhere. Um, it doesn't look like a very big village, but there is some uh, form of village here. Uh, um, he doesn't got he hasn't got any good trades. Uh, anything in this house? I'll take his plant pot. I'll probably get rid of that later, and his torches. Sorry, mate, but all your stuff is mine. Right, but we're not really here f to take their stuff. We're here to take their food, which kind of is their stuff. But I kind of want their food more than anything else. Let's hope they've got some uh, hay bales somewhere. Or any good chests. I will take a bed. Mm -mm. Thank you very much. Um, anything else? Just more torches. Yoink. Where are you going? Right. Oh, it's like by the beach, this place. It's kind of sick. So, this should have a chest in it. One piece of bread? What? Whoa, sneaky creeper. Sneaky creeper. Please don't blow up my iron. Okay, we're alright. <laughs> a massive cave as, as well. What the hell? Right, we've got to try and get this iron, which is right here. I did not know that. And some of this precious coal as well. That's one thing that I am pleased with is that there is a lot of coal because on my other world I just completely ran out of coal and I had no idea why. Um, so yeah, let's just get this last bit of iron. I'm not too worried about the coal since it is everywhere. Um, I don't think this village has much more. I was expecting there to be hay bales there. Definitely nearly fell off from up there. Um, so I can eat this piece of bread. Everything's so high up so I'm literally going to die of full damage at some point. <gasps> There's a cow! There's a cow. That is great. Oh, bro, I can't. I literally can't afford to lose all these hearts. All right. Well, at least there's some food here. Um. Oh, this guy's got some crops. Why are they not grown though? I don't know. I will take them all anyway. Sorry, buddy. Your carrots are precious to me. Maybe I'll have to make my own farm at some point. He's got. He's probably got crops he can put down anyway. Uh. I'll take. I'll take all this because this is some valuable materials right here. We've got more cows. More cows. That is a great sign. Uh, that there is actually some food here. Not a lot. Of, I seem to be getting more um, leather than I am food. Oh no, what? Eight, eight beef? I did not think I got eight beef from that. Um, right, I'm going to go over to this sort of island area. See if there's anything interesting down here. For some reason they have actually built down to the dock, even though there's actually nothing there. I, how am I taking full damage? That is like a tiny drop and I'm taking full damage. I'm literally going to die. I'm on three hearts. So I should probably uh, bunker down somewhere and try and eat some food. Um, maybe just on this dock. Do I have my furnace? No. Nope. Why did I not take my furnace with me? What the hell? Or my crafting table. Okay, I kind of left those in that mountainside, but that's okay. Uh, there's kind of stone everywhere. So, as I said, I might not actually have a lot of time to grow some crops. Simply because I want this... Um, I, to be like a constantly moving world. Is that all copper? Jeez, that's a lot of copper. Um, so, yeah, I want this to be a sort of constantly moving so I'm not always in the same place. So, oh, um, so yeah, I might not have time to grow crops. So, hopefully, 
I'll just have to survive off steak and other living things that sort of wander around here. There's not really much here, to be honest. It's just like a big rock island. Oh my, there's literally land generating all the way up there. That's insanely high up. Um, I think there is more land over this way. But it depends on which way I actually want to go travelling. Because I can go over to that island. Which is it's probably quite good. It's got like, grass on it and like, everything. Um, so for food that might be better. But this one I really want to go up there. But that might be my next episode. We'll be exploring uh, like above the clouds. So that will be the next episode. But for now I'm going to go over here and see what's here. And then I'll probably end off the episode here. Okay so we're on the island now. There's not, doesn't look like there's too much here. I thought this island was going to be bigger than it actually is. But it's a good thing there is actually animals here. Now this is the laggy side of the world. For some reason that's just a thing when I look in this direction. Uh, there seems to be like crazy glacier formations here. Which, which looks amazing. Because it's definitely not as much on this island as I was expecting. Although this is joined to this. So it's quite a pretty big island actually. It doesn't look like wood will be a massive problem. But there definitely is less of it. Because of this crazy generation. Not as many animals as I was expecting. I haven't found any sheep. Um, but I have just found some pigs. So that's kind of crazy as well. Um, so we're not looking too bad on food. But if we go anywhere like really in the mountains. Then that might become a problem. So we should probably like stock up on food. Um, before we go up there. Um, seems like it's getting night time. So we should probably sort of end it off here. Sorry for the lag frames over here. You may hear my computer literally dying in the background. Um, the fans are going crazy. But that's just the problem with running shaders. Is that you might hear my computer a bit more. Hopefully you don't mind. Uh, it is a little bit laggy. So that's kind of a shame. It seems to be the water as well messes it up. Um, so next episode I might have to turn the shaders down a little bit. So what the hell? My magnets are so bad. They don't even stick to my radiator. Anyway. I reckon we should probably... Let's just camp in the side of that mountain real quick and we can end the video off there. Because there we go, I'm going to end the first episode off here. Hope you enjoyed it. I've got some um, iron cooking in there. Seems to be the zombie that wants to get in a fight. Oh, well, he did until he died. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you actually join me in this journey for the next episode. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this new series and if you want me to challenge me into doing anything because another thing I might do is see how many achievements I can actually get in this world so yeah that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye nice